What's going on everybody? My name is Colton Angel and this is the College Cookbook. Today we'll be making chicken fried rice. If you're a vegetarian, you can just swap the chicken out with some zucchini or another veggie of your choice. But let's get going. First, I'm gonna get the ingredients set out. You guys think I should cut my own onion? Or use the one that's already pre-cut? Chicken thighs, baby. Oh, you wash your hands. <laughs> Continuity's gonna be all off. <laughs> <clears throat> Again, continuity's All right, here's the simple ingredients we're gonna use for this chicken fried rice. We just have sriracha and soy sauce. That's gonna be our main like flavoring and sauces. And then we've just got onion, broccoli, and carrots for our veg. And then just some two chicken thighs right here. They're both pretty small. Fuck, I just touched it. Dude, we just got these tiny ass little rags. All right, and for the rice, we're just using um, this pre pre-cooked white rice. Um, you can make your own rice. I've tr I tried testing it and I just could not cook rice, so this is the way to go with. These just take 10 minutes in the microwave. So since this takes probably the longest, we're gonna go ahead and start this. Um, just follow the instructions to cook on those, but this just takes four cups of water and then just microwave it for 10 minutes. All right, like I said, this pre-cooked rice is really easy to make. It tastes fine. Um, we're gonna like cook it with the chicken and all the sauces and everything, so really it's just a vehicle for all the other flavors. So it doesn't really matter too much. And this is also really cheap. Um, it's not much more expensive than uncooked rice, so this is honestly like easier way to go and pretty affordable as well. And just throw it in the microwave for 10 minutes. So while that is going, we're going to go ahead and get started on everything else. Okay, like I said in my leather video, I don't have really good knife skills. So with the onion, pretty easy to dice. Um, I'm not great about it, or I'm not great with it, so you can find another video on how to dice an onion. I already got some pre-diced, so we're not going to worry about this. With the broccoli, it's really easy. You just like chop them off. Um, I don't like a lot of the stem, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut that, and then you can just go, and they really just start falling off on their own. And you don't need a lot. This, the rice makes um, two cups of rice, so um, it's either, like, if you're hungry, it can be enough for one person. If not, it could easily serve two. But yeah, that'll be enough for broccoli. I should get some bowls for this stuff, huh? <clears throat> Alright, next with the carrots. Um, I just like to get them in little... Uh, Planks is, I guess, what they're called. I just don't want to get people mad being like, you're wasting a bunch of food by cutting these off the carrots. How far are you going to Oh, you're going to have to end too. <laughs> so with the carrots, all you're going to do, um, chop the ends off kind of at a bias, so it's like a flank like that. Same direction, so it looks nice and good. You can really cut these however you want. This is just for um, like visual appeal, I guess. And then you're going to take a chunk off the bottom, that can be your first little plank. That just makes it easier to slice. <coughs> Choke them with the carrot. And then you're just going to want to take your knife and just cut it nice and thin. Just watch your fingertips. This slices right off. You can kind of cut it into thirds. It gets a nice little, uh, nice thin slice on it. I already have some of those pre-cooked or pre-cut too, so I just want to show you how to do that. I'll move on to the chicken. All right, with the chicken, again, this doesn't really matter how you cut it, um, just depending on how you like it, but I'm gonna get pretty uh, nice sized chunks. First, I'm gonna just cut the fat off of this. It's kind of gross. I should get that out of the shot, huh? The thighs kind of have a lot of fat, a little more than the breasts do. So we're just gonna trim the, the fat off of it. You don't really need a lot of fat in this fried rice because you're gonna add some butter to it and some oil, so it'll be good on fat content. So yeah, that's good there. So like I said, you're just gonna take it and actually there's a lot. You're just gonna take the chicken and I cut it into little strips first and then depending on how big that cut is, I will cut it down from there. So now that I have this little strip right here, I'll probably cut this into three pieces. Just like that. Boom, a little piece of chicken. Just enough for like a little bite to go with your all the other stuff in the rice. I mean, I said this in the other video, but this knife is not very good, so any knife you have at home will work. It's just cutting veg veggies and some chicken, so it doesn't take a super expensive chef knife. You could use breasts too. I just bought chicken breasts or chicken thighs because that's all our store had because everyone's ravaging the grocery. Did I say ravaging or ravaging? We'll eat it. Um, however much chicken you want in there, put it in there. It's, it's up to you, but I'm just going to show you how I like to make it. 
Wash your hands after you touch raw meat. Sorry if I seem a little off today. I was at Starbucks earlier and I ordered a venti iced coffee and when we got up to pay, she handed me my venti and she said, we accidentally made you a grande first. Um, do you want this drink for free? So I had two drinks from Starbucks and we kind of shit my drinks out. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna get our pan heated up. We're gonna get this going. Medium high heat. Medium high heat means just like a little past high, okay? Then you're gonna put a little bit of vegetable oil in your pan to get the chicken nice and crispy. Tablespoon, maybe a little more. Just even it out a little bit. Got a minute left on the rice. Keep it on, please. Rice is done. All right, rice is done. This one's literally just in a bag, so you just fish it out with a fork. Fish it out. Move the plate, Shania. Just get your fork, fish out this bag of rice. Doesn't look very appetizing, right? Goddamn. Just drain it out a little bit. All right. Got most of the water off. We're just gonna set it on this plate. Throw this water away. Throw the bowl away. Kinda wanna get a lot of the moisture out of it because whenever you're gonna fry this up with the oil, water and oil don't really go well together, so you might get a smoke show going on. So try to get most of the water out. And I'm just gonna dump it in the bowl. Let the rest of the rice soak up any excess water that's in there. <clears throat> All right, put it back in the bowl, fluff it up a little bit, let it sit, let it cool down. Yeah, all right, we're gonna, no, we're not gonna do that. Put our chicken in the pan. We got the oil heated up. Just toss it in there. Make sure you separate them all, all your cuts, because it'll tend to stick together. And this is where you can kind of eyeball um, how much chicken you're gonna want. You know how much rice you have now, so I'm gonna do, I mean, I like it heavy on the chicken. A little piece of chicken in every bite. What's better than that? All right. In the sink. Wash your hands. Touch the chicken. Look at that. Look at that. They can't teach that. They cannot teach that. All right. So now you got the chicken going a little bit. You're going to ask, Colton, what are you seasoning with? We're seasoning with these sauces. I found that sriracha and soy sauce and a little bit of garlic it's kind of all you need to get that like classic asian flavor that you get in most fried rices even maybe a little more flavorful huh let's get that seasoned up so we're just going to put a little bit with the chicken because we're going to season the rice later so i just want the chicken to absorb some of this flavor so let's get a nice healthy squirt over your chicken of sriracha a little bit of soy sauce on there. Soy sauce, very powerful. You don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. And then, oh, shit's crackling there. And then a little bit of garlic powder on there. Oh my god, that's a lot. All right, give it a little toss. Here's where you can show off a little bit. Show your skills. You got a girl over for dinner. You're making her dinner in front of her eyes. A little. What is that called? A hibachi grill date? Get a little toss. Get fancy with it. All right. We're gonna put this back to the side. We'll get that later. Now we're going to give our broccoli just a nice chop again. This is where you're going to get it a little smaller. That way you're not getting huge chunks of broccoli in your uh, fried rice. That was horrible. <coughs> get rid of that. You don't want that. There's probably going to be people like, oh man, he's getting rid of the stem. That's the best part. It's not, it's just not. If you're saying that, you're lying to yourself. While you're doing this, just keep your eye on the chicken. We got the heat up a little bit, so it might be burning on us, but just keep your eye on it. You can just stop chopping broccoli whenever you think you had enough. No need to chop it all. You can chop it later. It's flying everywhere, man. I mean, that already smells, with those three things I put in there, that already smells like a Chinese restaurant. It's amazing. All right, you don't want to make it too spicy unless you like spicy. Oh, 
That's going to be enough. We'll call it good there. We got the onion. That's enough onion. We got the carrot. You really want to get a nice crisp on the chicken. So I think like a big important flavor of fried rice, or I guess not flavor, of texture of fried rice is that it's crispy. So you kind of want to crisp and char in all your elements. We'll hit it with really high heat whenever we put the rice and everything in together. So like no need to get it super crispy right now, but just make sure it's cooked, cooked all the way through. You can, like I said, you can make the bites however big you want. Mine are kind of on the bigger side, I would say. That smells amazing. All right, what are we gonna do now? I wanna get this cooked a little more before I start adding the vegetables. So we'll just let this go. Put this in a Tupperware. Probably should use the rest of my other. Put this extra in the Tupperware. Keep it for next time. We got a lot of extra oil in the pan, but I think that'll be good for crisping everything up. I mean, your rice is just going to absorb it all, and that's just, I mean, I never said this was healthy. Okay, getting some good color on that, so now we're going to add our veggies. Um, crank the heat up a little bit. Like I said, you're eyeballing it. Do you like onions or not? You don't need to put onions in there if you don't like onions. I like onions. I'm going to put quite a bit in there. They're cut up pretty small, so you can add quite a bit. I'm add... Boom, perfect. All right, next we're going to go broccoli. We don't need all that. Feed that to the rabbits. And then carrots. These are more for texture than anything. I mean, they have a, a mild flavor, but it's nice to get a nice crisp carrot in a bite, huh? All right. We got a lot of extra sauce and, uh, yeah, a lot of extra of that sauce mixture we put in there. So I don't know how much we'll have to season it after we put everything in there. Obviously, when the rice gets in there, we'll need to add more, but for now, this should be pretty good. We'll let that stew together. Look at that. You see that? You see that? That's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. All right. We crank the heat up. We're going to get a char on it. You don't want to like caramelize the onions or anything. You still kind of want that bite. So we're just getting high heat on it to get a char on the vegetable. What's that called? It's like the Maillard reaction or something. Can I get a Google on that? We're going to crank the heat up a little more. Because I don't think... I think this vegetable is getting a little too soft just because the heat's not quite high enough to get that. They're cooking through more than they're just cooking on the outside, which is what you want. See that? I just licked my finger. It's time to wash them again. God, this is where, since the heat's really high, this is where you want to really keep flipping it. Those are getting good. Getting good. So we're going to add our rice in now. My word reaction? What? It's M-A-I-L-L-A-R-D. Maillard, yeah, that's right. It's a Maillard reaction. It's when you get browning on food and it tastes way better than it did before. All right, that's cooking down. Since we added a lot of stuff into the pan, we're going to crank the heat up again just to get more heat going to the pan. Get the rice nice and crispy. It's looking a little pale, you see? You can actually still tell that's pretty white, pretty pale. So this is where we're going to add a little more sauce. A little more sriracha. You don't want your mouth on fire when you're eating this. You just want the flavor out of the chilies. And then some more soy sauce. We're not going to put more garlic because I kind of put a lot on the chicken. Look at that. And then just mix it all in. All right, important step here. We're going to taste it just to see where we need to season things. I'm just going to get a spoon. See if you need any more soy sauce, any more sriracha. <clears throat> it's pretty good. It's pretty, I don't think I need to add anything. We're getting a good crisp on it now. Here's what you like to see. Just let it sit, kind of flatten it out. Get it nice and flat and level in your pan. Just let it sit on one side so that side gets charred. And then you can flip it and just get the rest charred up. This is honestly looking pretty good. I'm impressed. This is like restaurant quality fried rice with like, how many ingredients? Four? Not very many at all. I mean, in restaurants, it takes about three seconds to make because they have a walk at about 900, not 900 degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. And the walk is like 800 years old. Yeah. This is also really good for like meal prepping. You can just make 
more of this. You can do like, this is an easy recipe, you can just double it, put however much you want in it, and then put it in a big Tupperware and you can use this throughout the week. There we go. Now it's getting that crisp on it. We're gonna give it one more taste. You wanna use a different tasting spoon so you're not cross-contaminating everything. It's hot as f so. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you can see that, but that broccoli's got a nice char on it. The chicken, nice browning. I think it's about perfect. I'm gonna do a little more garlic salt on it. Stir it. But you don't want, you still want your vegetables to have a little bite to them. I mean, it's in there for texture just as much as it is for flavor. <laughs> you don't want them to cook down. You kind of want to get, still leave a nice bite on them. Yeah, this is just about done. It's getting really good color on it. Crank that off. <laughs> All right, so this is our fried rice. I mean, all we use is chicken, broccoli, onions, carrots, and then um, pre-cooked minute ready rice. And it's steaming hot. This is perfect. And then all we seasoned it with all we seasoned, seasoned it with was sriracha, garlic powder, and some soy sauce. All right, we're gonna get a good bite here with everything. This is so hot. It's how you make restaurant quality chicken fried rice uh, with just simple, cheap ingredients. You don't need to, it's not super fancy, it's fried rice. I mean, all it has is three vegetables. You can replace any of these vegetables with vegetables you want. Um, you can even add more if you're vegetarian, add some zucchini. Zucchini would go really good in here, but um, like I said, the grocery store I was shopping at is gonna have a lot, obviously, because of the circumstances. But um, it's just really good. Make sure you get a nice crisp on it. Um, you can use this, or you can make this stuff in, in like, this is my apartment. I made this restaurant, restaurant quality chicken fried rice in my apartment as a college student. I think it's pretty impressive. Um, super easy, you can definitely do this at home. Just put all the ingredients that I used. Not very many, but I'll put them down in the description. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, it's honestly really good. <laughs> I got rice up my nose. I have a rice, kernel of rice up my nose. <clears throat> Chicken fry. Okay. Alright, so here's what we're gonna use. Okay. It's gonna be great for the blooper reel at the end.